Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now, the U.S. controller of currency says the um, adoption of DeFi going mainstream is inevitable. Now, let me remind you, this is Brian Brooks. He used to be the guy at Coinbase, so he might be a little biased, but he is in a position of power, so he can actually help make this happen. Well, DeFi outs banks. No, I don't think they're going to replace banks, but they may be a good parallel to banks. So he says mainstream's DeFi is inevitable. The U.S. acting controller of currency believes the role banks play in society will soon be transformed by crypto assets and DeFi. Technically, DeFi doesn't really need banks because it's supposed to be decentralized. The U.S. acting controller of the currency, Brian Books, predicts the decentralized finance will render many of the financial services offered by banks obsolete. You're talking about interest rates? Sure. Just as email disrupted the postal service. Not quite the same thing. In an interview during DC Fintech Week on October 19th, Brooks predicted that a, that a not-too-distant future in which distributed ledger technologies mediate financial services, making the legacy banking sector's historic role as central ledger keeper redundant. I do think there are going to be a lot of people that actually prefer like a centralized banking system rather than a, dis, a, a decentralized banking system. We see a future where decentralization is very likely an unstoppable force out there. Decentralized networks, by definition, are cheaper, faster, and more resilient to any kind of centralized structure. I don't think I would completely agree with that. Sometimes decentralized networks are kind of inefficient, but many times they can be cheaper, faster, and more resilient. Formerly the chief legal officer for Coinbase, Brooks is now the head of the Department of Treasury's Banking Oversight Bureau. He compared financial institutions' historical function as an aggregator of money to that of post office's role as aggregator of communications, noting, with email, we don't need the aggregation anymore. We can do it directly with each other. So he obviously is uh, basically comparing the email revolution to the DLT revolution. I think there's some comparisons to be made, but I don't think um, you can directly compare it one-to-one. -one. When, Because, like, the central role of banks is actually to store people's money safely, and you, need, uh, uh, you, you actually do need entities that people actually trust. When asked what the role banks play will have in society amid increasing creative destruction posed by stablecoins and DeFi, Brooks said, humans de uh, human beings need financial services, they don't need banks. They, but they also need trusted entities to give those financial services. And a lot of people just won't, I don't think, will trust a decentralized uh, platform for some years. Eventually, maybe, but not for some years. It is possible for you to just go online and say, hey, listen, I've got $10,000 here and I'd like to earn 5%. And the algorithm will find someone who does who does, and all of a sudden there's no longer a value in the bank aggregating all that money together. Well, the, the problem is like, I guess you can protect with smart contracts, but we've seen what happens with DeFi. We've seen people lose money and we've seen people run off of the money. So there's still the trust factor. And I think that will take X amount of time to overcome. And X amount is not a small amount of time. Brooks predicts that banks will continue to provide an array of important services, including custody of physical assets and fiduciary stuff. The custody part is very, very important. He also expects banks will adopt an increasingly decentralized world, predicting a future where banks and businesses operate nodes within blockchain networks and in which banks mint their own stable coins. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do think uh, banks will mint their own stable coins, but I do think uh, the banking role will, won't decrease as much as he actually um, thinks it will. But decentralized finance definitely has a future. I do believe that eventually it will be adopted mainstream. I don't know if it's inevitable, but I do believe it'll be adopted mainstream. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.